<laughs> Hello everybody, we're here on uh, Modern Warfare 3. This is the Early Access campaign. I am on this screen, because I don't know if it's going to start playing a cutscene immediately as soon as I restart. So, yeah. Alright, I know some people might feel some type of way about this game and everything, but I'm excited to play it. Okay, yeah, here's one of the completion rewards, and you can see your cinematics and everything, okay. Alright, shaders are finished, preloading, I can stop looking at memes on my phone, let's go! your content, I don't care, veteran, because we're insane! Alright, so off from that first cinematic, we're somewhere out in the ocean, we've seen from the trailers. How spicy this game looks with all the water and everything. So we're in a submarine. Had to read a Wikipedia recap for Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 2022. So that I actually know what's going on. God. These games pre-rendered like this. They just look so... They look so nice. Alright, here we go. I, for some reason I have it in my mind we're playing as Gaz right now, but I don't know if we're actually playing Gaz. All right, we're dragging something with us. Oh, it's like a little freaking not flying thing. We're underwater, but you know. Heading to surface. Am I framey or not? I can't tell. I have a terrible eye for frames. It wouldn't surprise me if I'm incredibly framey. Oh yeah, I love the beta. I'm so excited for this game. I know my voice is very like nothing. Oh yeah, we're at 65 FPS. It's fine though. It doesn't bother me. All right, beautiful. I'll take this at 60 over crap at 120 or higher. I know I'm like alone in that feeling, but all right, just said Alpha One. Think I heard Captain Price, but I'm not fully sure. Boink. All right, so the if that was us, we don't sound like anyone I recognize. You know, the question right now is, what are we doing here? I feel like he would have seen us. Also, didn't he just shot him in like the ribs? Yeah, I was gonna say he's still alive. There we go. Double tap. Rook. Ivan. Hold up. What's N? There we go. I don't know why I said what's N. Like I don't know what a keyboard is. Don't mind my incredible aim right there. Dang, people are just dropping in. Hold up. How dark is it? Oh, it's not that dark. They would see them. Alright. And this game is pretty, though. And this night vision just looks like a blue version <laughs> of outside right now. Yeah, you know, we're in the we're in the part of the campaign where we're just we're just following people, you know. Is the way Call of Duty goes. In the Looks like the transfer. Not okay. On me. okay, so we're here for a prisoner. So there's a hatch in the courtyard we're trying to go through. Ready for the fireworks! Okay. I'm gonna say, don't come here. What are you doing? Go that way. Light him up. Honest, I'm not completely sure they were supposed to uh, know about us that easily. I also know better than to get saucy on veteran because I'm playing, or I've been playing, I guess, kind of in preparation for this Call of Duty 4 on veteran, and oh boy, it's brutal. I also played the new Modern Warfare 2 on Veteran when it came out. Oh, sorry. And yeah, I know. It's brutal. It is just... Oh, it is yikes. Also, 
Kastov and the Lockman on the ground, so those are the Modern Warfare 2 weapons that are carrying over. So it's kind of nice to see that. I I should have used them to see what um, see what they feel like in this game because I'm very curious about that. All teams, let's roll thunder. Bravo, pull the plug. Those people on the left definitely saw us. See now, now this is dark. There we go. There's our boys. Use them as cover when we when we kick off the riot. Kick off the riot. All right. So we're letting all these people free so that they act as cover. Very shrewd, but effective, I guess. Okay, dude, I maybe shot one in the foot. He's alive. Oh, okay. Also, by the way, are we just holding on with one arm? Is that the only thing sustaining us? Because when we died, we just fell all the way to the bottom. Are we just that crazy strong? No, it's hooked to us. Why do we fall when we die? And also, parts like this always suck on veterans. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to shut my mouth and then I'll cut to when I actually get past this. All right, made it past. That was fast. Oh, I spoke to... I did not. All right, that was fine. Ah, riot shield. We don't like riot shield. I'm extremely prejudiced, and I definitely don't have it platinum in Modern Warfare 2. I appreciate that at least for the first level there, uh, being somewhat kind. What does this feel like in this game? It feels like the exact same. All right. So is this him? Is this our man right here? Ooh, I like the red on our uniforms. Who is this? Oh, is this Makarov? Or are you playing as the bad guys? Alpha's on target, stand by. Step into the light. Positive ID. So is that supposed to be Makarov? Or am I horribly misreading this and looking like an idiot because I can't cut this out since it's during the cutscene? You can actually see the magazines on the vest that we were using. That's cool. Standard villain stuff. Yep. So he's been in prison for a while. All stations, this is your commander, Vladimir Makarov, call sign Tsar 90 Actual. I have the con. Move to phase three. Out. So what has he been doing from in there? Is this gonna be a I've been controlling everything from behind the scenes? Maybe it's already been that. I don't quite remember. Thank you. Oh! Yeah, see, now that's a Call of Duty veteran thing that's gonna happen. They'll just randomly throw something at you and be like, Oh, you died? That's unfortunate. God. You know, I specifically thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't play this on veteran, you know? There's a lot of, like, stuff that's like... How should I say this? Um... Stupid? Always gonna have the very claustrophobic, similar to this part, all the games. 
like the server room in uh, that building in Chicago or whatever. The end of Modern Warfare 2. Alright, this one was very small. Ow! So you got, surely no one's to my left here, right? They wouldn't do it. Oh, wait. Rook, I'm I Rook, I'm gonna need you to stay frosty here. You're not you're not you're not doing the best. We're so strong, so strong. Yep, he overrode, said, nope, we're going. Who holds power in this gulag? The guards or the prisoners? I would say neither, honestly. Yes, Andre, very good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Could he have shot me or something if I said the wrong thing? That would have been funny. Yeah, I said... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I said neither just because it's like whoever's in charge of the prison is in power, honestly. Alright, here we go. I don't know if people are going to respawn in this portion or whatever. And I do actually really like the concept of like you know playing as the bad guys for at least some like portion of the campaign i do think that's very interesting wait where am i i'm just following my boys i'm just hoping that they're actually gonna lead me whoa that guy has been shot several times dude i'm so used to cod 4's i'm so used to cod 4's veteran that like it's actually almost it's almost getting me killed because i see someone and they don't shoot me immediately and kill me instantly so i'm like oh okay that must not be uh that must not be an enemy and it's like no it is an enemy they're just very they're just not as ridiculously stupid as they are in call of duty 4. yeah this game is very uh, pleasing to my eyes I also do I also do always think in any type of game like this it's nice to see to get see them like the bad guys like macro get even somewhat humanized I don't know just in the way that like he's interacting and like taking the lead here I don't know you kind of get to see the work like firsthand you know all right so do these these prisoners just assuming that we're all cool? I guess so. I mean, it's good that they're assuming that. They're very useful for us. All right, I'll follow Makarov. He's got main character status. Just do what he does. Oh my god. Got some mad hops. All right. Up we come. Hopefully a quick time event doesn't happen because I'm looking, I'm trying to uh, get to my stopwatch on my phone. Alright, not very long. You know, even just from this right now, Makarov is now less of an untouchable mustache twirling villain than he is like, you know, another character in the Modern Warfare world. <laughs> I don't owe you, okay? Is what he said there, but... Oh, no. Did it crash? It might have crashed. Never mind. Oh, there's Captain Price. Man, it just throws you in a war zone match right now. So I think this is just our boys. Yep, Ghost Soap, Gaz, Price. Turn us around! Turn us around now! 
Uh, Price does not like that revelation. So it seems like they were in the middle of doing something else, and then they heard Makarov got out and were like, no, 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 no. Alright, here's Farah. Shadow 2 Kilo Actual. At the port now. We'll confirm when cargo's in my possession. Stand by. And Alex, of course. We're good to go. So far. This is a game changer. Let's hope we never have to use them. In Tibu, how will I come? Stay on comms. So what cargo are they getting? Surely these aren't gonna be like, you know, any of our- Oh, she's smiling. She's smiling. She's grinning. Hopefully these will just be like normal yeah. missiles and nothing yeah. like, you know, not the spicy missiles. Yeah, the physics on that construction hat. Don't ask why I was looking at it. How we take him a this conversation is going too well. I'm waiting for an explosion. It is. I was wondering what it is too. Got a lot of trust in place in her, a lot of responsibility. There we go, she's dead! That's what I was waiting for. That did not surprise me at all, I was waiting for it. Oh, that's bad, no one likes a car crash. You kinda get in the rhythm of like, not even just Call of Duty, just all like action games, you know? There we go, Farah. That that car crash ain't nothing. Come on, let's go. Uh, weapons free at the top. It, uh, it gives you your rules of engagement at the beginning of a mission. Oh, she's got a knife. All right. Open combat mission. I know Coney are like a multiplayer faction from Modern Warfare 2, and they're just like the bad guys, basically. Wait, 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 hold up, I gotta, t <laughs> no, 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 we gotta do some googling, I need to see why, why is Graves a good guy, again, I'm sorry, I know he didn't die at the tank in the, at the end of MW2, but no, I need to know why he's a good person again now, I know they just kind of brush over it, and I remember hearing about it, but I need to specifically know, we are googling this. In August, Graves, who is revealed to have faked his death, meets with Farhan Alex to propose an alliance between Shadow Company and them as they prepare for an invasion of Masra, the Coney group. Under Shepard's command, Graves leaves an assault on the Coney occupied Zaya of Swords, blah, blah, blah. So he's just a good guy again, or at the very least, he's friends with Farhan Alex. Yeah, 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 whatever. We don't think about this stuff that much. Die and give me your gun. What do you mean, think I'm made? I have a gun now. Oh yeah, he's looking for me. I can shoot him now, though. It's not its not an issue. Can I do, like, a takedown or something specifically? Oh, you loser. There's no enemy fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, here's the attack map. Okay, so this is cool. I really can just, like... Go around doing whatever. That's nice. Yeah, open this and then can I close it? Okay. I will not allow Cohen to steal these missiles, whatever it takes. We're gonna need a contingency. Okay. I have GPS trackers on my ship. You plant those on the missiles, we'll never lose this one. I still need to locate the containers. Dina would have known where to find them. Shipping manifest will be in the harbor master's office. The tower. Affirmative. Copy that. Okay, so we're looking for, um, yeah, we're looking for some markers to put on. Basically, Coney's already taken over this, and there's nothing we can really do about it. So, we're instead just going to plant a, um, plant some trackers. I 
I did not mean to shoot with my unsuppressed weapon. I mean, that's fully my fault. I, I did, like, full shoot him. Keep an eye out for any shadow survivors. It wasn't my ship or crew, Farrah. We were security only. Afraid they're all dead. Good kill, Kilo. Coney hasn't stolen your ship, Graves. Kilo, how we looking? Manifest first. I'm changing course. Dealer's choice, Kilo. Stay safe down there. I appreciate that. He's just like, yeah, do whatever you want. You're the player. I appreciate that, because I am the player. I'm going to do whatever I want. Oh, you can choose between... Oh, so you almost get, like, loadout items freaking in-game. That's actually, like, great. I think that's awesome, honestly. Good copy. Do what you see fit, Kilo. No sign of survivors. Just bloodshed. These were innocent people. The missiles were supposed to prevent this, not cause it. Sometimes that's the business. I mean, yeah, that is the business. It's definitely something Graves would say. <laughs> like, sometimes that's just how it is. And we'll just go over the fact that he, you know what? Yeah, just, you know. Literally massacred an entire village of people, and it's just, uh... Son of a... Okay. Yeah, guess what, losers? I'm dead. I am somehow still alive. Uh, dude, if he had just peeked me earlier, I was I was dead dead. This is what, this is what we played DMZ for. These exact, like, combat situations are very DMZ-like. This is literally, this is what we trained for. Alright, we might be good here for now. Okay. Ammo, we have a sentry turret now. Yeah, I I I literally I love the way that this just is. This kind of just it's great. Be advised. Coney left no one alive on your ship. Let's make sure they get what's coming to them. We won't let their sacrifice be in vain. Hit them for both of us, Vera. This kind of like DMZ campaign, this is awesome to me. I love this. Alright, we got the trackers, now we just need to find out basically where they were. Keep up the shadow. Colony found one of our containers. They're taking it now. Damn it. That's one missile gone for good. Only two left. If the missiles are all headed to the same location, we can still track them. Big if, Kilo. Okay. Alright, that is a big if. But it's Call of Duty, things tend to occasionally be convenient like that. So we'll see. Ooh, yep. Silence ISO Hemlock. It does sound like that. Oh, y'all are shooting at me from forever far ago. Far away, and not a go. I'm gonna say, I'm using the ISO Hemlock, guys. Like, don't even bother. You guys, yeah, you have a Vaznev? What are you gonna do at that range? And we ascend. Um. Okay, so the manifest is just... Oh! They have a sniper! Oh, me he, <laughs> he even dies and drops stuff, just like a... DMZ person. Uh, I can already tell there's gonna- Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, we'll take that. I can already tell there's gonna be some people who are gonna very much feel some type of way about, um... You're gonna feel some type of way about this kind of... Definitely gonna feel some type of way about this type of mission, but... Me, this is great. Going for the manifest in the office. Check around the desk. Manifest could be on it. What a great instruction, Graves. Check around the desk. It could be on the desk. Yeah, I was gonna say a set of reinforcements are coming, so. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say get him sentry.
Yeah, so yeah, watch my flank. <laughs> God, I'm already like enjoying this immensely. Like I said, this type of thing being a campaign mission, DMZ like, is awesome to me. Yeah, like right. it just is. And my sentry is doing work over there. The manifest, manifest and three plates. Got it. Okay, but now much like DMZ, the issue is not surviving the enemies. Issue is leaving the building. Yeah, like so, we just gotta get to a not so like narrow, easy for them to find us place. Yep, I can hear them all around. Said I've done this in DMZ. I'm very familiar with how things are going right now. Except I don't have hit markers. Like the only difference right now. Oh! Ooh, defending our little thing. This game does seem a bit easy right now, and I'm on veteran, but honestly, eh, I'm fine with that. Alright. Wait, what am I doing? It's a container stacked high. Oh, we're supposed to get in here. Open? 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 Oh wait, no, we're just putting the tracker. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh! What the? Oh, I'm actually getting sniped at. Like, effectively. That is something that is going to be maybe an issue. Yeah, you can see his freaking sniper shots are whizzing by. Just gotta keep- alright, we're gonna wait till tax sprint's good. Yeah, I'm aware. We're not exactly, um... Drowning in time here, but... Flash. Ooh, okay. Throwing the value of flashes through Pod 4 Veteran. Alright, we're gonna reload and then we're gonna see if we can just make a run for it. Ow. Containers up above. I do have a self res, so if I get downed, it's not the end of the road, but getting downed is not my goal. Okay, we put the tracker on. That's cutscene time. Ooh. Just like our lady said before she got shot. Loud and clear, Farah. Cody's pulling up stick. They got what they wanted. We live to fight another day. It's not over. All right. Well, we're going to pause it there, and we are going to end the video there. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm having fun. So, yeah. See ya. I didn't get a screenshot, though.